Welcome back. Let's take a look at Davillion, a free-to-play action role-playing game made by the same company as Terra and published by Trion Worlds. Yes, I said Trion, not in Mass Entertainment. The game is quest-based with a full storyline. There are four classes, which you can see on the screen, and a fifth class, the Death Scythe, will be added soon after post-launch, which is the end of 2015. There is not a trinity system in this game. Each class should be able to hold their own in-game, and they have no intention of adding a dedicated class, like a healer. When it comes to character customization, it is minimal. The classes are gender-locked, which is somewhat standard for action RPGs. There is a Davillion form, which is more powerful that you can use to fight bosses and whatnot, and could be previewed here, but I wanted my form to be a surprise, and you get it early in the game. You're finally awake. I am Elara, the guardian of Pale Moon Sanctuary. Malik and his devils are attacking us. They want the Chaos Stone. We need your help. Ah, you must be the Davillion Elara told me about. We never thought they would attack us here. You... And Alara have to reach the inner sanctum and protect the Chaos Stone. I don't think I can go any further. Uh, please, please keep Ilara safe. Everything is not voiced. This is the tutorial, which I think is pretty good. What does this game have to offer? Well, there are raids consisting of nine players, three parties of three. There's world PvP in select areas around world bosses. Players can work towards PvP kill achievements. The max level is 50, but there are paragon type levels. Once you hit 50, you can continue to level your character to a max level of 52, or you can use those points and invest them in other areas. Currently, you cannot use your Davillion form in PvP. The game has crafting, several ways to customize and buff your character, for example, passives via talismans or using the skill tree. You can run dungeons solo or with a group. There are guilds, allowing guild alliances, and you can go to war against other guilds, meaning that all the members of the rival guild can be killed on sight. You can also do arena battles against other guilds. Now, being the tutorial, I'm going to speed up the gameplay a bit so that we can move on to higher level content. The final boss of this area will be in real time. Alara, I'm glad you're safe. We do not need you, Tavillion. The Guardian... Ah! Ah, Alara, I think it's my time you keep me. At the end of the video, you will see the login system, which I like. Players can save up their points to receive items that are in the store. You know, things you buy for real money, like inventory slot expansions. This does a lot, in my opinion, to show good faith against pay-to-win items in the store. Okay, that's it for this one. Enjoy the gameplay, and I will see you guys in the next one.
who told me about you, and I'm sure he'll be able to help you recover your memory. I need to return to Asperon, and let the Lumen Guardians know what happened here. I think there are some night recruits stationed at Windbrook Village. They can probably help you get your bearings, too. Stones are unspeakably powerful and unfathomably dangerous. The devils have sacrificed hundreds, if not thousands, of their kind to recapture just a few of them. But it's been enough. We're barely fending them off at this point. We need something, anything, to help us stand. 